Removal Warriors, Joseph here, Vets Hall, Junk Removal, Stafford, Virginia. Hope wherever you are, you're staying busy and making money in junk removal. It is a good day to be in the junk removal industry, guys. I am heading out to Richmond, Virginia to meet with a hotel developer who is renovating a 96-room hotel in Richmond, Virginia. He reached out to me last week, and I asked him because he had gotten two additional estimates from the bigger junk removal companies in this area. One of them is the Boys in Blue. But I feel even better, guys, because when I asked him if he was comfortable about sharing with me the bids that he had received, he said, sure, why not? It's, a, it's potentially a $65,000 job, guys. $65,000 job, and this developer is already talking about how he feels better in giving the job to a veteran-owned and operated company. On top of that, guys, it's a really unique way how this estimate materialized. About a year ago, we did a job for an attorney, and we made a big mistake. The attorney calls us the very next day and says, hey, woke up this morning, you guys took all my shoes. I don't have any shoes to wear. So I'm sweating at this point, and I call my guys to see if they had dropped his stuff at the landfill. Guy said, no, still at the yard. Okay, so I called the gentleman back up. I apologized. I returned to him his shoes. Though we had messed up, we made it right. We accepted fault. And we even, even gave this attorney a small discount on the very next job. And when I asked this hotel developer, how did you hear about Vets Hall Junk Removal? He says, you guys serviced one of my friends a while back who's an attorney. And it was the same guy. It was the same guy. People talk, guys. People talk. Value the customer. Set standards, guys. And adhere to those standards. The customer is always number one. That's why we have grown. That's why we are opening more locations as we speak. And that brings me to the subject of tonight's video. I made a similar video about, I think it was five things, five military principles that have helped me to succeed. We're going to do three more tonight. Three more military principles for success. First one, do the right thing, guys. Do the right thing even when no one is watching. Have standards. We set standards in place. Standards for myself. Standards for my employees. Standards for the customers. Standards for the growth of our business. And we do not deviate from any of these standards. The only way we deviate from these established standards, guys, is if we surpass our standards, guys. If we meet those standards and then exceed those standards. That's the only deviation from standards that we accept, guys. Day after day, customer after customer. And when customers speak, guys, that's why we stayed in business through this, in, this entire coronavirus thing. We have not been slow, guys. Every one of our locations has been exceedingly busy. I'm reading all of these comments on the various junk removal business owner groups and people talking about, you know, my phone isn't ringing, yada, yada, yada. And on one of my last videos, I told you about how we have been staying busy because I keep records. I keep records of every one of my prior customers that I've ever had from day one. I'm a big records person. And when things got slow, I simply moved into saucy mode. You don't know what saucy means? Watch the previous videos where I talk about getting into saucy modes. Uh, and I reached out to every one of my prior customers and reminded them, hey, we're still here. We're doing curbside junk removal. I know this is, you know, you're cleaning out your, your house and your closets and your backyards. We can drive up zero touch. So when everyone else was experiencing lack of business, guys, <laughs> it's been the land of milk and honey for us. So standards, guys, do the right thing even when no one's watching. Um, when you have an organization with high standards, you draw individuals to your organization, both customers and also individuals who want to be part you know, of your organization as a veteran local owner. I can't tell you how many veterans I talk to. I have talked to a tremendous amount of veterans who watch the videos, who reach out to our local owners and say, hey, you got a great brand, 
You guys have a fantastic philosophy. How can I be a part of your organization? I talked to a gentleman, a veteran, about a year and a half ago. And one of the things that we hold in high regard and you have to have to be considered uh, for uh, local ownership of a vet's hall junk removal location is good credit. Good credit is going to tell me a lot about you. Good credit is going to tell me if you're going to be a good risk. This gentleman who came to us, he had met all of our other qualifications except for his credit. I had to turn him away. He was sad. He created his own veteran branded business on his own. It failed. He went to Afghanistan to be a civilian contractor. He saved up his money. He paid off his debt. He raised his credit score. He reached out to me once again. He says, hey, I got money now to invest. My credit is better. Can we do this? He's going to be one of our very next Vets Hall Junk Removal local owners. Standards, guys. If you want to grow your organization, create standards and adhere to these standards. We are in no rush to build our organization. No rush whatsoever. If you rush building your organization, be it just one location, your junk removal company, or multiple locations, it gets watered down and nobody wins. You do not build a bulletproof organization like we have now. And we're on point to bring on four more locations very shortly. Number two, have vision, guys. Have vision to take that hill. Have vision to take that hill. When I first got into the junk removal industry, I knew nothing about it. <clears throat> but I sought out a mentor. He doesn't know he's my mentor, but he is Jerry Flanagan, uh, <laughs> the CEO and founder of J-Dog Junk Removal. And I studied, guys, I studied this gentleman. I studied every move he made. And every move that I could apply to my organization, I did. Find yourself a mentor. Find yourself someone more established in the industry, okay? Reach out to these individuals. Don't find a mentor in your cousin Chewy, all right, who works at Taco Bell. He can't do anything for you. Seek out individuals who make you uncomfortable because they're better than you are, and you will grow. I have a ton of mentors now. I have a banker who's a mentor. I have another junk removal uh, leader who's my mentor. I have an attorney who's my mentor. Seek out individuals who you can learn from, guys. Ask questions. Apply the principles that they teach you to your business. So you cannot be afraid, guys, to make yourself better for the growth of your business. And in the, on top of all that, study yourself, guys. Know your weaknesses and work to overcome your weaknesses. Number three, put the right team together. When we are looking at individuals to bring on board as the next local owner, we're not only looking for those individuals who have the money to make the initial investment, I'm looking for individuals who are bringing more to the table, be it business experience, be it contacts in the industry, be it, be it something that can benefit not just me, but them and the organization as a whole so that we can build a bulletproof organization so everybody, on the team benefits from everything else, all of the other skills that the other local owners are bringing to the organization. Good credit, that's just one of them. Financial resources, we do not want individuals who are getting into junk removal who wanna be part of our team because they're gonna rely on the paycheck that junk removal brings. If you want to come on board to be a Vets Hall Junk Removal local owner and you need that paycheck to survive, we don't want you. Because as a new owner, there are going to be dry times in the beginning. There are going to be times where you know, you're just getting started and you haven't established yourself yet. So do you have enough financial resources okay, to survive in case something like the coronavirus hits? In case things aren't taking off as fast as you wanted them? to take off. So we're looking for people with resources. We're putting the right team together. I trust my employees. They trust me. They have bought into the system. They have bought into the Vets Hall Junk Removal system, philosophy, and vision, guys. I continually challenge my employees daily. I invest in their self-development so that I am breeding leaders in my organization so that when I need to step down, okay, to run the larger organization, which is gonna happen very soon, guys. We're gonna double our organization 
very shortly so that I can step down from what I do, you know, being boots on the ground in the truck and I can start running the larger organization and I have 100% confidence that my guys can take my vision, boots on the ground day after day and run with it and make my vision better than I could have ever thought. So, in a nutshell guys, today's three tips for success. Three things that the military has taught me of how to be successful and not just chunk removal guys in any business. I've applied these principles to each and every business that I have ever owned guys. And I tell you what, I'm not boasting, I'm not bragging. Every business that I have ever ventured into guys has been successful. Everything I touch turns to gold. So to break it down, number one, Build a brand that draws people in and set standards. That will help your business to grow. Number two, have vision, guys. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is gonna believe in you. Find someone that motivates you. Find someone that mentors you. Find someone that teaches you. And find someone that will be honest with you about your flaws, about your shortcomings, and then zero in on those flaws and shortcomings, guys, and work to eliminate those shortcomings so you can be more effective in your chosen field. And number three, put the right team together. The reason we have succeeded and are gonna be shortly doubling the amount of stores around the nation because I know what I'm doing and so do my men and we complement each other. Before I make any moves, guys, I look to my right and I look to my left, to my right-hand guy, to my left-hand guy, and I confer with him and I say, do you think this is a good move? But I am humble enough to confer with those individuals, my mentors and the guys on my left and right, and I take into consideration what they say. And if I believe it works, then I make the final decision. So those are Three more military principles that I have applied to my junk removal business that have helped me to succeed. Hopefully you will take these principles, tweak them, develop them, and apply them to your junk removal business to make you more profitable and more professional. If you like the things I talk about, you can subscribe to my channel. If you wanna be made aware the very next time I make another video, you can hit the bell icon. If you're in Northern Virginia and you have stuff that needs to be removed, you can reach out to the Junk Removal Company powered by Veterans and Patriots at 540-657-VETS. That's 540-657-VETS. I'm Joseph, owner of Vets Hall Junk Removal in Stafford, Virginia, and we are on the move making things happen. hoo -ah. Talk to you next time, guys. See ya.